father, grandmother, grandfather. Uh, so they were really shocked, really shocked when I say that uh, I become a Muslim. Especially my mom was so shocked, and he also she also have like negative negative thoughts about Islam. And at first she said to me like, oh, "You are going to the dangerous groups or <laughs> like something," and she was really worried. Then she wanted me to back to Christian or something, but. Um, but I explain her, explain her. This religion is not dangerous, and also this this religion makes me more happy, more peaceful, and this may this religion makes me uh, that I missed, missed, and that is my this is my purpose of my life, and this is to obey the God, and this makes my life more better. And I showed her my video too because I make many videos uh, with Muslim people and how Muslim people treat me well. So after he watched, she watched that, and she slowly changed her mind. So now she fully respect me. So now, now there's no problem. <laughs> mm, mashallah, mashallah. Okay, so now your misconceptions about Islam are all clear. But then when you tell other people about Islam, what do they say? What is their reaction? Uh, at first, they, they don't believe that first time. They don't believe, like, you saw the news and you saw the newspaper. Like, how can you say like that? But I can show my videos, or I can sh introduce my Muslim friends, and if they know, and if, it's, if they see the real Muslims, then their per perspective also broke. Yeah, because they mm. can see Islam is so peaceful religion, it's all about the hospitality and love and peace, so. Yes, and, and can you tell us about your Umrah visit, your visit to Saudi Arabia, how was that experience? Oh, it was so, so amazing, so amazing. Uh, I've, you know, like I've become a Muslim two years ago, uh, and I've never been to Kaaba, Umrah, but when I arrived there, when I arrived there, I feel like it's just my home. I just come back to my home. And with the whole, the, with the one Umrah, with the Muslim brothers, it was an amazing right. experience. Right. Mm. So I have this, I have been thinking after looking at you and listening to your story of coming towards Islam, you're an international celebrity and there is this concept prevailing in the world, unfortunate concept, which is called Islamophobia. Mm. So, so and, and being a Christian, you may not have ever, you know, faced any such thing as hate or, you know, uh, Islamophobic attack or any, anything related to uh, religion. Mm. But now that you're, you're a Muslim, you may have to face Islamophobia. Are you ready for it? Actually, I, I've got many experience. Like in in the in in person to person, Koreans are very generous, very kind. So they don't talk about many bad things about me. But when uh, I search on the internet or like YouTube comments, then oh, there are so many Islamophobia. I'm also surprised. Um, so I get through it. So, but at first time, it was not easy to to face it. But now I think like um, the, the thing that I have, everything have their reason and everything is a plan of God, plan of Allah. So I think there's always reason. So I think positive way. So if I can learn from this and because of the Islamophobia things, they can learn from that too because there was Islamophobia. So I also see it. But when I see the real Muslims, my, is, my, my, my pride is broken and I get interested in Islam. So other people are the same too. Like if they know the truth, if they know the truth, they can change their mind. Mm. So they it's can not change very, well said, very well said. Very important. Now, it's very important that if there was Islamophobia, then it was attracted to Islam. After reading it, so if there will be other people in front of them, then they will also read it and how many people can come to the Islam. Very well said. Okay, now before converting to Islam, you were using your voice as a singer. Now, after becoming a Muslim, how are you using your voice? Uh, now I'm using my voice making the YouTube. <laughs> but at future, inshallah, I want to try to not Okay, now coming to your visit to Pakistan. What brings you to Pakistan? Uh, actually, there, um, when I was in Saudi Arabia, um, the, my friend in Korea, his name is Chinggis Changgis, Chinggis Changgis. He, uh, he worked in Pakistan embassy. 
So he messaged me like, how about going to Pakistan because they are so nice and you can see beautiful nature and you can feel their hospitality. So, so I thought like, mm, why not? So I came here and they helped me a lot. They, and there is a, a Pakistani celebrity who is the most famous Pakistani in Korea. His name is Jahid. Uh, so they helped me like how to, oh, you have to go here and you have to go here. And I, I, they, they make a lot of trips uh, for me. So I just came here and now I'm, I, I enjoy a lot in Pakistan. It's so good. Ah, so this is your first good, time in very Pakistan. Good, very good, very good. And interesting, the conversation is going on. And when we were talking a little earlier, that until you don't have to study Islam, what will you know that it's okay or wrong? And you can see yourself in the same way. You've come to Pakistan. People in Pakistan have big fans. We have many messages coming. We can't ask them this. We can't ask them this. We can't ask them this. But we will try to talk about Pakistan's trip. How are you going to eat? Look at the photos. How are you going to eat? They are eating food. They are eating food. <laughs> so, which cities did you visit in Pakistan? I've been to uh, Lahore and Karachi and Siakot, Katapur and Islamabad. Okay, okay. And uh, how was your experience in these cities and any specific places that you visited? Oh, it was so amazing. I've been like Bashai Mosque and... Uh, Bashai Mosque. Uh, I don't even remember the names, but, um, but like famous mosque and also like famous markets and also uh, like Sikh temple and, and also like um, many different and diverse culture, architectures, place. It was so amazing. All right, right. So you, you, you're making the most of your <laughs> Pakistani trip, but now that you're in Islamabad, have you, where have you been to Islam, in Islamabad? And what, what where places? are you going next? I will go to the north, the Funja, ah. Skardu, to the, see the nature. Right, right. Okay, okay. And, and you also visited Wagha border? How was that trip? Wagha border was amazing. Oh, uh, it's very interesting because Korea also have similar history because we are colonized by Japan time. And also after that, we are divided with North Korea and South Korea and we have the war. And still now we are still fighting. And there is a mm. DMZ, the famous border, South Korea and North Korea. And so I thought, like, expect, like, very serious and very sensitive place at first time. So I was really afraid, like, can I go there? Isn't it dangerous? Someone, like, shoot me, because like, I'm so afraid. But when I arrived, the wife, the Waga border, it was so, so different. It was like a festival. They are so kind, so peaceful, and they enjoy together. And also Indian parts, they are so happy. And Pakistan part, they are so happy. They are just enjoying their, like, festival. So. It was, it was so nice, right. it was so peaceful. Right. It was very energetic and very, you know, uh, full of emotions. Tell us about food, Pakistani food. What have you tried? What did you like? Oh, food is so amazing. Foods are... Bohut mazeda. Pakistan ah. foods. <laughs> so, so <laughs> delicious. I love mm. chicken biryani and uh, karachi. Ah, uh, karai. Chicken karai. Karai. And also, yes. uh, gul gappa. Oh, that was so amazing. <laughs> and samosa and oh, I didn't even remember the names of the foods but every food in Pakistan was so so amazing. Ah okay and is it uh, spicy as compared to Korean food? A little bit spicy but Korean foods are also spicy so <laughs> no problem. Right and, and now tell us is it, what is that one thing that is going to bring you back to Pakistan? Is it the people, is it the food or is it the uh, country in general? So actually Pakistani foods are amazing. Pakistani building, ar architecture, amazing. History, amazing. And also nature is amazing. But the thing that I bring me here again is the hospitality. It's, I've been many countries, but Pakistani hospitality is, is, is out of level. It's so different. They are so welcoming and treat me as a brother, as a family. And I always, always surprised every day. Like, why why you help me like this way? Why you help me like me like this way? I'm just no more person, but they always say you're my guest, you're my guest. I just hope you have happy time in Pakistan. So I'm so impressed. Mm. And finally, what message would you like to give to the world about Pakistan? Actually, uh, also it's similar with Islam too, because um, many people think 
Because through the media, Pakistan is not a safe country or Pakistan is a strict country. But if you come and see their real life, it's mm. so different. Pakistan is a safe country than any other. They are so nice, so generous. And also, Pakistan is so beautiful, so beautiful, and their hospitality and their kindness is amazing. So you have to come here and experience about their real life. You have to. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Daoud. It was a pleasure to have you in our studio and really in a very impressive and inspiring story. You've told us about yourself and your life and how you converted to Islam. Thank you for coming to Pakistan and thank you for coming to the studio for our show. And we'll welcome you again as well, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah, <laughs> soon. Nazreen, we'll take a look at the next time.